Welcome back, Deanna Bishy, L.A. Noir. Getting right to it. Got a promotion. Let's see where we at today. Like, subscribe, all the good stuff. You know what I'm saying. Let's hop right into it. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. <laughs> oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. Now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division, welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. You've been caught louder, nigga. Have take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I'm partnering Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. But that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up. You'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. So we here for our promotion in the, um, I think the traffic department. I, I don't know what department. I don't know if we detect them. I think we detect them. They really pushed something. you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? Cause I'm, cause I'm him. Favors. Don't get mad. I'm telling you, it'll never stick, and you'll get roasted. Shoot. That's a clean suit from Men's Warehouse. I'm ready to put some folks, put some folks behind bars. Let us go. So, 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 so. You know this place? So you reckon with? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. PE Freight Depot. We'll cover you with sign of abandoned vehicle. Okay. Let's go. So, tell me all about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Rakowski? We have to work together, don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Okay. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Fuck you, son of a bitch! Sorry. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night, draped in a flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready, finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Mikowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Mm. Yeah. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and That sounds like a patrolman problem. It's not my problem. I'm going to my case. 
I said last time I was talking about Phelps. A little bit. Oh, fuck you, Phelps. I used to. I earned a bravery citation during the Zooter. I want to get my backstory too, man. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. Well, y'all get that story I'm later. I'm saying you didn't. They keep talking. I'm trying to talk, being disrespectful. I was trying to say. I used to want to be in the armed forces until. That you, Bukowski? Yeah! Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Back. Thank you. What's going on here? Just an abandoned I need car. To get back to work, officer. The officer detectives brother. are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right oh, thing by calling Oh, hell no. What the hell Mr. happened? Work Just give them your story and you'll be all right. Brother, this, it, 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 it better not be you, brother. This better not be you. Somebody, 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 somebody now. Whack somebody in this car. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. Man! If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Man, I don't need you. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. Stefan? I don't need you, nigga. Like I was saying, I just want to be in all forces. Until, uh, there was like, you can't come because you disqualified for medical reasons. I'll get to that maybe in another video. But, uh, yeah. I was gonna be Marines my whole life till I was like 17. And I was like, uh, nah, player. So I had to go. I had to switch my whole life, life plan around. You know what I'm saying? So I respect Cole Phelps. You know what I'm saying? All my armed forces, all my armed men, Air Force, Marines, Navy, Coast Guard, Army, Special Forces. I, shout out to y'all, man. What we got, man? I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the coroner? Yeah. There's blood all over the interior. Someone's caught the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just mm. north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. All right, all right. I ain't gonna use it for clues now. I can use clues of my own. Before I talk to you, brother. You gonna keep me here, sir? Hey, man! I'm, 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 I'm gonna talk to you in a second! I'm gonna investigate. What you got, corner man? Doc. Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. Mm. I think there must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. You didn't open the trunk of the car? God dang, what happened? My man got slaughtered in here. Ooh! He must owe somebody some big Victim money. Looks to have lost a lot of blood. All the blood. Jeez Louise. He gotta be dead by now. He gotta be dead. And we are a detective now. We're not patrolling no more. Thank God. Out them stupid uniforms. I'm gonna check the trunk, but hold on, we gotta check the side. Dang, what happened? Alright, pop the truck open. Crowbar. Seems irrelevant. You sure? Well, ain't no blood on it, so I mean, I guess. Maybe that's for the change tire. What is this? Live F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. My man bought a live pig for three dollars. Imagine if a live pig cost you know bacon for days. Wait, this may be not human blood in this car. This may be this pig blood. This may be somebody trying to fake their death. What's we got up here? We got an exhibit A. What's this? Wallet and some goggles. What do we got? Okay, this is what we say it was. Adrian Black. 32 years old, married. Mm -hmm. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? I don't know. I don't know how you say it, that's average cold from just his age and everything. I think this is a picture of him right there. Here it is. Oh no. She did it. She did it. Half she times, did it. I guess. She did it. Look at her face. Look at her face. Look at her face. Look at her face. Mm-mm-mm. 
Hmm. So these goggles. What are these? Gucci? Cartier? Some buffs? Say no damn buffs. Oh, what we got? What we got? What we got? I got some. I got some. Some vibration. Get. Get. Zoom it on. The, get it on. The, there we go. Stenzel glasses. Mm. Home repaired by the look of it. Home. Yeah, he do got that tape in the middle. What that man was broke. Come buy no new glasses. Broke boy. Either he faked his death, or his wife. Hear me out. Hear me out. Either he faked his death, or his wife faked his death and really killed. I don't know, bro. Ain't no exhibits. What's over here? What's over here? He doesn't give me anything to go on. These new porcelain ain't got nothing to do with the crime. Is that all the exhibits before I start to this brother? This is crazy. Hey! Y'all get an auto exhibit over here. Y'all get a move on. Ain't nothing to see here. Get to work. Ooh, it's blood on me. Oh man. This thing he brand name might give us something to go on. Hmm. I don't know how. She's like a generic brand for heat. I wanna guess this is a, a pipe to a heater? Look at the blood on it. And why is it over here? Alright, it stopped with all the clues discovered. Bet, bet, bet. So we discovered all the clues, y'all. Now, let's question this brother. I don't believe it was him. Because, uh, that picture of the wife was looked too devious in his wallet. What did you see, brother? Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. Alright, Nate. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. I feel you. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Brave of you, cause, cause son. Brave of you, cause I'm, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't, they didn't think it was you. Why was you here? Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Mm-hmm. I believe him. You look at me straight now. I believe him. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What about that pipe over there? What about that pipe? We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. I believe him. You like stand up, brother? When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Mmm. So this, 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 this was done a while ago. Do you know Adrian Black? Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Hey, brother. I'm black behind the camera playing the game. You ain't gotta call me sir. Hey, brother to brother, we here, we here. I believe you though, I believe you. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. Okay, okay. The wallet by the car, was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Why you get so? Why you get? Why why you get so defensive? Why you get so? Uh, uh, come on, brother! You, you took five dollars out of there. You took five dollars, didn't you? Didn't you? Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mister? Uh huh. Morgan? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look, but there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thank you for your help, Mister Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. All right. I will. Let me let me, let me talk to my subscribers first. All right, y'all. So what we got here is uh, 
a case of uh, either either faking my death or my man was cheating in the parking lot over there. I don't know where. Maybe over there. The brother said it was over there looking mad unusual. Maybe he was cheating. The wife caught him. Bust him in the back of the head with a pipe. No, oh, that's too much blood for the back of the head with a pipe, though. Oh, no. What location we got? The crib? Yeah, the black residence. Yeah, let's go over there. Let's go over there. Let's, let's go to the crib. Just because cause, cause, cause we done over here. This is our first true case right here. Mm -hmm. This case is juicy. This case is juicy. Whole wide next to a vehicle to make a partner drive. Man, if can't drive, I'll drive. Yeah, this is juicy. If y'all ain't seen the first episode, that was a tutorial. Now we in the real deal. SVU. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Six twenty Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. Couple blocks north of Central Station. So, what do we tell the wife? We play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. I think she did it. I'm calling it now. I think the wife did it. Saw her face in that picture. She like she went out of that relationship. Could be a contact gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely and give him a tap. But why move the car? Can we try to get there in one piece? What you wanna do? What you wanna do? What you getting out for, nigga? What you getting out for, nigga? I'm police. You better, you better, you better be easy. You better be easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it back, 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 back your car, boy. Back it up. Back it up. Obviously, someone got a little heavy hand. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. Hmm. You got something there, folks. Doesn't add up. For sure, bro, because all that blood, no body in there. So they, either they move the body, which is mad weird, or it's a vacant death scenario. You read about the guy in the crossing yesterday? No, I didn't read it. No, what happened? What happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. Oh! Slow down! No, they won't move! Alright, Over on Lincoln Avenue. What happened? This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. Okay. He stops the car and gets out. <laughs> he bops the hood and he's on a rail crosser. Oh, <laughs> you got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil and the Southern Pacific Freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came wow. to a rest more than a mile down the track. Wow. <laughs> what a pointless waste of life. Mm. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity working traffic, folks. And who needs a second amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? Mm. He cooked it. Let him cook. Let him cook. If it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Bad lesson, Phelps. Evidence will only get you so far. Okay. You ask me? The whole thing feels hinky as hell. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition, Rakowski. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and you'll get there one day. I feel you. I feel you. And that story, why did bro check his oil at a railroad crossing? That was his dumbass fault, bro. Alright, we here though, we here though, we here though, we here, we here though. I gotta, I gotta tell the wife the news that she may or may not know. Black residents, okay. Sure don't really know black residents. <laughs> What black folks you know got the little, got the little, uh, what's that, uh, 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 Let's go introduce uh, ourselves. You talk Autumn? to Phelps. I'm not good at this shoulder to cry. Is Autumn the word for this? Um, I don't know what, I, I think it's Autumn. Maybe, I could be wrong, I'm sorry, y'all. She, what's she in there doing? Reading her book, Mind Her Business. Why she ain't watching no TV? Was TV's out, TV was out back then. Should we be watching uh, Price is Right or something? Just a minute. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. 
I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Mm-hmm. I'm coming in all right. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. Mad signs! I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Mm -hmm. I think this is before our FBI Let's and all that. Because we didn't have no warrant or nothing. I don't think warrants was a thing back then. We're going to see. We gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. I'm looking at everything. We got newspaper. There might be some, some more back, back story, y'all. Let's, let's, let's look at it. Let's look into it. Side story. Let's see. Alienist Fontaine provides help to trouble vets. Yeah, so the last time we seen this, he, 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 he was trying to create something to help the vets with the PTSD and all that. So let's see what's going on. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's? Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. Hmm, so what's that morphine he just gave him? I don't know. I feel like that story is going to tie up in near the end of the game. So I'm going to keep collecting these. Only 13 of them. We got two. Back to this current case of Adrian Black. And hear the, the doo doo sound. Okay. We got it. Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? A matchstick? A matchbox, I mean? Maybe Adrian was a patron. I should have an address. Okay, so maybe he went to Kavanaugh's bar and died after he got from the bar. Okay. Or that could be a random matchbox he grabbed. So be I'm I'm I'm, keep, I'm, keep, I'm keeping it a buck. Find a phone to call for an address. To Kavanaugh's? All right, but phone right here. Who the landlines? Who remember landlines? Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks. Okay, so we got an address on the bar. Was that everything in here in this little dining area? I like how the color is in the little case. I ain't gonna cap. Some stuff from 1940 you should go back to. Besides, huh, the obvious, you know, racism and all that. But most stuff you should go back to. There we go. This is the little pipe we found. The new automatic glass line water heater. Greater heating efficiency cuts hot water costs. 20 gallon tank. 82, 850 down. Man, look at the prices back then. 
I'm not reading all this. Y'all can read it. Pause it. Basically, just the water heater flyer. I guess this was new. Was water heater a new thing, or is this a new water heater? If the tank fails within five years, you receive a new one for free. Hmm. Okay, so we know they had this installed. Is this the bill? This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Hmm. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. I will, I will. Once I finish the inside, man, man. All right, so there's proof they got a water heater installed. Anything else over here? No, nothing over here. Another cabin on the bar, bar matchstick. Can I go in there? Um, must be the bathroom. What is this? What's in here? Train ticket. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Remember when I said you might affect this death? Look at this. An Alex Seattle train ticket. What's the date on this? I don't see a date. Oh no, December 3rd, 1946. Hmm. And it's a one way. You see at the top? OW, I'm gonna guess it's, that, that means one way. Maybe you're trying to get away from this wife. I might be on to some of y'all. Here. This is the case for his glasses, isn't it? This must be Adrian's. Uh huh. And open it. Yep, stencil. Stencil. So the glasses are a match. Okay. And that's the same picture from the wallet. Look at him. Look at him. Better investigate. You got something back here? To my Adrian. To my Adrian. I'll go ahead and read it, man. This thing gets more and more interesting. Oh, you gonna read it? Love sick and lonely without you. Hurry back, my darling. Nicole. Is his wife named Nicole? Back to me. This thing got... You know what? Got... This man had a side piece in Seattle. He went back to live with a side piece. I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. Order the live hawks or fake his death. I'm telling you, bro. That's the first, that's the first thing I said. That's the first thing I said. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. Hmm. What gives here? That is an old school thing. People did live in separate bedrooms, which was kind of, I don't want to say weird, but you know, of, 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 of the times. Couldn't be me. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta lay with my woman. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make sure that that woman heat is there. You know, you know when you, you know when you cuddle and the and and, and the spoon it and the butt is in the little. You know what? I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Still more clues because this jazz music is going crazy. My man going crazy up on the uh, bass. This looks like that's not the case. Maybe. No. No. Boom, no. Mubikowski. That got nothing to do with it. I already know. That got nothing to do with it. It's a, it's a boss. This isn't what we're looking for. Yeah, it's not what we're looking for. I don't think it's nothing to do with it. Nothing, to do with nothing it significant. It's a plain figurine. Still more clues. The music's still playing. I ain't stopping till I get every clue. Oh, outside. 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 I ain't gonna outside yet. I ain't gonna outside yet. Um, this 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 thing is gold. What's in here? Nothing, just 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 the look. What 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 what? Just like I had nothing to do with nothing. An old iron and some detergent. No. Let's go outside. Find this water heater. Can't go in there. Oh! No, it's just, it's just some plants. Some plants. Some plants. 
Up! Oh, what do we have here? No use leaving the thing half finished. Because he broke it apart. Let's see. Just scoop this up. This goes, uh, goes here. Um, let's get this one right here. I'm gonna say this goes here. This right here. This goes here. And this goes to the other gold one, which means that one misses the one bug got his brain splashed in. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's here is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. It challenged the wife, or he faked his death. Those are my, my two leads right now. My two leads, and the plot thickens. Oh, we got the music. We got the... Da -da -da. All right. Let's go in interrogate the wife. I'm already skeptical of her. But seeing that train ticket and that love note behind that picture, Makes me think it was also a, 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 a fake death. So we we gonna see. We gonna I'm all see. right now, detectives. All right. Let's see. Let's start with um. Where are you, Mr. Mrs. Black? I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? <gasps> You're not accusing me, are you? What an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Right now, detectives. Mm, I believe you. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Okay. Okay. Never came home, huh? Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? Yeah. All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Frank who? Frank who? I believe you. Looking straight at me. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about 7. Okay. Came home early, left early. Me and Frank, the bar, right here, the Kavanaugh's bar, right here. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. It's mesh boxes all around the house. That's how I know. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. He cheating. He cheating. Seattle, huh? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get the glasses case, case out the way. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. New pair? The ones we picked up were old. Hold on, is that is that evidence in my? It, in my book. The receipt, the glasses, broken and repaired, found near abandoned. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna use my intuition. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. We found them. We found them. We found them. So go to, this, go to this, this photograph here with Nicole. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Now you lying. Now you lying. Before I accuse her of lying, let me, let me, let me, let me see what evidence I got. I've got to have some evidence to match up. Where's the... Uh, I didn't write that down in the evidence. Oh, right here, concealed message. Mm. 
She's looking truthful, but I don't know. Are you trying to find my husband? God damn it! You and your husband are in separate bedrooms. What gives? Did you want him out of the way, Margaret? No, I did not. My husband and I may have drifted apart, but it, it wasn't my choice. That's fine. That's fine. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. Look, right now he's cheating. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. Okay, that Got a last name. He's up to. Frank Morgan. She's cheerful. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, detective. Okay, you know what? I changed my mind about her setting him up. She been true for that whole time. So I'm gonna guess he faked his death to go with a side bitch. Side chick. Mm -hmm. No. Nah. Where are we going? I think we go to that bar, right? Yes, sir. My partner ain't doing a goddamn thing. So my assumption of her doing it is off the table right now. I'm gonna guess he faked his death. So go with cheap with his side. Jesus, I'm so glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. Mm. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Yeah. Stranger things have happened. I think we need a siren. Say less! Why y'all watching? Like and subscribe, man, if y'all have been enjoying the content. I'm back rejuvenated. Back in the zone. We here, man. More gameplay is coming. I'm here for it. Ooh, landmark. El Pueblo de Los Angeles. My LA residence. Is this a, is this a real thing? This is looking kind of nice. I like that. Good to some of the landmarks. Shout out to Rockstar. Who also made this game? You better. You, 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 you. Boy, another one. Bob Union Station. Man, just the history nerd in me, bro. I love history and I love geography. Landmarks, seeing stuff like this, man. This is before highways. Everything was street. You hear that black music playing here? Hear that? They used to call this bad music back in the day. This was like how they used to treat rap. Crazy, crazy. Just a bar right here. Just a bar right here, though. We gonna see what's up. Did he leave with anybody? What time did he leave? Did he come here at all? Hey, I know you. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you don't, you drunker. You looking for someone? Yeah, I'm looking for someone. She wants a five-star goddamn wedding. What? That broad got socks in the brazier. And you know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Thank you for snitching. He drove me up to Mulholland. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Mm, there he's right here. Just a man oh, Phelps, need. LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Sound like you don't care, my guy. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. I don't. Look at his face. 
Can I accuse him of anything? Look at his face! No, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do back up. I think you were in on it, Morgan. You drove down there and you let Black have it. Ooh, I'm a bad boy. That the best you got? God dang it! When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. This man is rubbing me all the wrong way, man. That might be truthful. I'm using intuition. Ooh. He was on his way to meet you when he went missing. You're gonna have to do a lot better than I don't recall. He had a couple and then left, I guess. Maybe he had to go meet someone. That's the best I can do. This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? We tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. I am a bad cop. I'm, I'm, I'm just a rookie. I'm just a rookie. Y'all, please give me some leeway. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna tell him. All right, let's tell him. So he was lying both times. I know I had the much evidence to really accuse him properly. Maybe the wife's testimony. He sure left his drink in a hurry. Stick behind him a little bit. I bet he wishes he'd rehearse that story better now. See, I didn't. I chose a bad cop because I didn't know I had enough evidence to really say he was lying. I should have looked at my clues and my evidence a little harder. This is only my first, like, detective case, so give me some leeway, y'all, please. I need to watch more, more Law & Order Criminal Intent. I shouldn't knew he was lying that first one. He saw, saw that man's face. car behind. Where's he going? He did leave in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Why are you in such a hurry there, Frank? I see him. I don't need to focus on the camera. Hey, I really wish I got those clues right for interrogation. That's all right. We still gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm top cop. I'm Mike Lowry. Where are you taking us, Mr. Morgan? Yeah. Where are you taking us? Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Let's go. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from the bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was non-stop glamour work in traffic, didn't I? I'm just trying to learn. That's what oh, I'm trying come to do, on, man. Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. It won't work on me. Let's see. What room is he in? Number two. Apartment two. All right. Let's pay our friend a visit. See if he's missed us yet. Mm-hmm. This time, bro, I'm going to get it right. I promise y'all. Right here. Apartment two. 
the hell is that? Will you relax? Adrian! This is Adrian, I told he you. He faked his death! I told you! Yeah. I told you! Ah, oh, shit. I knew it! It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black? LAPD! Don't you run for me now! Up now! Don't you run for me now! Let's go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. Mm-hmm. We got some. No point running, Adrian. Got some funny to me. Go, 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 resort. Don't run for me now! Wanna fake your death? Have me over here. Mr. Black, get back here right now. You your wife or something to do with it? Mm-hmm. It's over, Adrian. Stop running. Stop right running. Stop running. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Yeah. Why the melodrama? Tell her you're cheating. I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll mm -hmm. see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. Oh. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Case still solved. Yes, that sir! Be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Well, thank Efficient you. investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here, you can go a long way in this department. That's what we get in the episode, man. Right there. Frank Morgan would have rolled over on AJ and Black with some tougher questioning. I know. I know. I plan to do better. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. That's going to be this episode of The Driver's Seat. My first real detective case. We got him. I called him in the beginning. Is it his wife? Is his wife did it or this nigga cheating? So... He was trying to cheat and trying to get out of Seattle. We did it, man. Hope you boys and girls enjoyed. Like, subscribe. Hit that bell notification for notifications for when you see me drop another banger, banger, banger. And we out here, man.